Alright, today we're going to be reviewing an art book. Which one? Well, specifically this one, The Art of Loish. A look behind the scenes. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of Loish. So imagine my excitement when I first opened up this book. Now, your typical art book is pretty basic. It usually just has pictures of the artist's illustrations and of the artist themselves. But not this one! I mean, look at this thing! Boom! Works in progress! Painting process! Contents pages! Oh, so riveting! Loish's art book is unlike any other art book, in the sense that it's not just an art book. It's actually kind of an autobiography. One that even I can read because it's got pictures. So who is Loish? Loish, aka Lois von Barl, Barley? Bar is a digital artist born in Europe. She fell in love with digital art at a very young age. After finding Okekai, where she painted hundreds of 300 by 300 images, um, sometimes multiple times a day, using just a mouse, and then only growing substantially after receiving her first digital tablet. The really cool thing about her is that she almost didn't become a digital artist. Instead, she almost became a philosopher. I mean, can you imagine? I can't believe it either. Like. If she hadn't become a digital artist, I might not have become a digital artist. But now she draws so much to become ex famous in the digital art world. She even started a crowdfunding project on Kickstarter and raised over 200,000 pounds after needing only 20,000 pounds for her initial funding project. That's a hundred times more than what she wanted. and. A lot of US dollars, but boy, is this book amazing. To start with, this book covers, pun intended, not just her original artwork, but her old artwork as well. I mean, here she is, she started when she was like 16 years old. And this helps you because you realize that everyone does start somewhere, and you can grow to become someone as good as her, eventually. She goes into great detail about her workspace, her inspiration, and even goes behind on the process of her digital painting. There is so much stuff she covers in her workbook that she literally paints a picture with her words. I just use literally incorrectly. Ugh. Ugh. The book itself is amazing too. The pages are th thick and sturdy, the ink quality is superb, and she even goes the extra mile to paint an exclusive artwork to cover her book. Like, that's dedication. That's not all. She goes out of her way to make two exclusive tutorials for all those interested in her style of painting that you can't find anywhere else. And she goes into incredible detail about them. I mean, just look at this one. Look at this one. She gets the images of her brushes and what she does, as well as going to giving you side tips and the actual colors she uses here. So without a doubt, I give this book a 5 out of 5. If you want to purchase this book yourself, uh, the link is in the description. You can find this on Amazon. And if you want to see more art reviews, how-to tutorials, or join me on streams, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. Love you guys. Peace out. If you guys are curious about all of the background noise, well, my basement's flooding, and this is where I record my work. <laughs> oh boy, I am screwed if I drop this book. The flooding has only increased. It's gotten all the way down. It's starting to, uh, this is sump pump that keeps it up. Well, I hope I get to, uh, hope I get to sleep tonight without worry. <laughs> Oh boy.